So play a little bit and let's do it. it as a it's a it's an instrument that supports the band so I'm, the bass is down here I call this a chocolate song so with this this uh, this modification that you do with you can use this bass basically any style even rock and roll I could see I Paul McCartney a, playing this. I do a lot of jazz gigs mm -hmm. with this bass I do a lot of jazz recordings and the engineer comes into the room and looks because they go what is that because mm -hmm. they're expecting an acoustic bass and I can get by with this they do what they do and they get a sound and I can I do a lot of Latin jazz so what we do with Latin jazz is to emulate the tradition of Afro-Cuban music but bringing in the jazz element more of a quality of, of, of organic acoustic bass sound but yet electric but when I play live yeah because it, it, this uh, way uh, solves a lot of problems for not only acoustic but also isolating the sound sometimes even in the studio you're playing but if you don't have a big a good isolation room, you're gonna get the cold gas and yeah, you'll, you'll the, bleed. You know, acoustic you'll thing. be bleeding, yeah. Uh, but what I like about this string, and I've researched for several years with La Bella, that finally we're getting it. They're sending me strings, and I go, oh, okay, we have a good understanding. And then now I'm sharing this with specific bass players that under that use the baby bass, the Ampeg baby bass. I mean, there's other kinds of upright electric companies like Azola, who I work with and I own two of their upright basses and he un he has the patent to the Ampeg baby bass so Steve Azola has helped me so much and I've helped him in understanding what we need to play a baby bass within a Latin band. The Latin band is a mystery to people who are not directly involved because to Micah Cowbell or to Micah Conga or Timbales is an art form it's not like a jazz setup or a rock setup. It's unique. a specialized setup. Okay, right, let's, let's play it. Okay, we're going to do a selection in honor of Tito Puente uh, from the classic album Puente in Percussion that features Willy Bobo, Tito Puente, Mogo Santa Maria, all the masters of percussion. In fact, you should probably get that and put that in your library. Yeah.
return. to uh, say. I would like to add to the students um, that are studying Latin music for the first time because unfortunately a lot of the masters have died. You know, I'm talking about a music that started out in the Mambo era of the 50s in New York, the Palladium. You know, you have, I can go on forever. But to the students of this music, if you're learning, uh, it's, you have YouTubes, you, you must leave the house. I mean, you gotta go. You can get stuck in the house watching the computer. That's not happening. I got my education by showing up, going to the venues, being in the front row, and stealing everything I could from the bass player, from the conga player, from the flute player. Uh, somebody asked me, "How do you take a good bass solo?" Listen to flute players, copy the flute solo, and then you got a bass solo. Uh, another aspect. Oh, I want to learn how to play Latin music. Really? Can you play a conga? No. They look at me like I'm crazy. I think, the most, to I think the most important thing that you can learn to play is a conga. Exactly. Even if you don't, you, don't have then, the... you know, I got my conga right there. Don't make me pull it out. Yeah. You have to play the conga. And you have to play the bongo. And you got to learn the patterns of the timbales. So ask then, a lot so of you questions. you understand everything. You know, when, when you show up, I mean, I'm talking about a bass student. But when you're learning the bass, you don't just stick, look at the bass. You look at the conga player. You look at the pianist. He's playing a percussive quality. It becomes a tapestry. And your bass is the anchor. In fact, the bass is the most powerful instrument because you anchor the band, That's and you can. I agree with that. You can control the harmony by going up a half step. Substitutes. Double stops. You know, tens. There's a lot of power in the bass, but without you understanding rhythm, you're losing a lot of what you can contribute to any ensemble, be it Latin, Latin jazz, funk, R&B. There's so many styles of Latin music now. Another thing that I'm going to say to you guys, my beautiful students out there and fanatics, learn how to dance. Dancing is important because you internalize the music. I could tell a good bass player by the way he walks by the way he dances, the way he moves his body on stage, I know that he has it in his soul. So yes, take the dance classes. Go with the family or whoever. And learn the cha-cha-cha, learn the mambo, whatever dances is popular, because then you put it in your heart. If it's in your heart, it comes out through your hands, it comes out through your bass, and you may get a lot of calls. And you also have to eat some rice and beans, right? Oh, don't get started. Because <laughs> that's the one pack I got right here. But no, uh, uh, somebody asked me, uh, one of my students, I want to learn Brazilian music. Then go to where the Brazilian venues are. Go to where the restaurants are. Learn the music, learn the food, the culture. Uh, if you could travel. And then that gets in your, in your heart, and then the music comes naturally. Music is universal. It brings us all together. I mean, I've played Latin music in... Austria, in Bosnia, I've been all over the world where 
we, we don't speak the same language, but the minute you start going like this, four thousand people will stand up in the middle of Vienna, Austria, and they know that they gotta dance. And this is a jazz festival. Jazz is from the neck up. Afro Latin music is everything. The neck. The, uh, the, and down <laughs> and then all over the butt everything you move it's a natural thing to move because of the drum I want to finish this by saying that when we're born or conceived we're conceived with a heartbeat we have something that's pumping already we have a rhythm going on you come out you cry you have eyelashes that flicker you have a walk you have a lot of rhythmic things that are happening as you live your life. There's rhythm all around you. Uh, so that's the power of Latin music to me, is that once you start playing, it affects people. You, you gotta be ill to not move when you hear Latin music. There's something wrong if you're not affected by Latin music. Um, I'm gonna say some names of people, maybe like Eddie Palmieri or, you know, Cachao or Fajardo, the great Cuban masters. To listen to that music and sit like this, go get a checkup. Something wrong. You'll, you'll need a checkup. Yeah. Well, Eddie, thank you for. Oh, I love this. this. Man. I can go on forever. This is you're my first guest in my well, YouTube channel. Well, I want channel. to say I'm very proud of Eddie because not only did he just get his degree, bachelor's degree in music, he's an amazing musician, oh, composer, arranger, guitarist, multi instrumentalist, and human being, and father and husband, everything. He's got it all. We, we, uh, I remember when I got here, you gave me a lot of work. You called me for a lot of uh, gigs that you couldn't do. And so. then they stopped calling me. Something happened. <laughs> no, no, he's just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is the first guest in my channel, which is growing now. It's going to be uh, in the future. I'm going to have other bass players, maybe Oscar Cartaya, maybe George Lopez. Yes, you gotta get, a, the, get everybody uh, in. And maybe Oscar Hernandez, you know? Different, or, different styles so they can attribute the funk style of Latin music. I mean, you know, there's a lot of different ways of approaching Latin music. I mean, I'm playing a traditional instrument, but when you grab that, you know, there's styles of funk that you can add to Latin music. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of it's on YouTube, so. All right, so thank you for listening and uh, hope to see you in the next the next video. Music is the only thing that's saving the planet. So study hard and give it all you got. Okay. This, this is, is the Apex Baby, Baby Bass. This one I think comes from 1967, 68. Um, as you can see, Ebony, not all of them came with Ebony fingerboard. Uh, I had this modified Ebony nut. This bass came damaged. It had a little damage to it when I bought it. Uh, I got it from a jazz musician, really good, good musician. And um, you can see there was some work done. Sometimes that happens, these instruments, they fall. And like all instruments, they're very delicate. So I had some repair work done. I stripped the neck. Um, and then something happened. One day I saw a friend, he had a, a signature on his bass. And I thought, wow. So I was with Kachao in a recording studio and Kachao put the first signature there and so he put it in 1993 January the 30th of 1993 which is when I got the bass I got this bass back in January of 93 yes so he was the first one and then I showed the bass to Andy Gonzalez and he saw the signature and Andy said but wait a minute I gotta sign it too so then Andy signed it underneath Kachao and it just continued on uh, the, the signatures here are the, to me, the heroes, my heroes, and everybody's heroes that play the bass in Latin music. There are only two people that are not bass players that sign this bass, and that's Eddie Palmieri, because he's left-handed, so I guess that makes him a bass player, and then Pat Rodriguez, who plays timbales, who also is a bass, I mean, these are musicians that listen to the bass when they play.